Hey everyone, we're gonna do things a little different today, a different, little different approach. We're gonna finger paint today. We're going to have fun with the Tarte Foil Finger Paints Shadow Palette. Would you just look at the lid on this? So they have put little beads in here, little crystals, and little chunks of fake turquoise. It's part of the Rainforest of the Sea collection. They're getting a real beachy feel to it. That's why my hair is just casual today. Um, I'll use that as an excuse. It's like sand and beach glass all together. Really cute idea. So this is an unusual type palette and I feel like it's really good for something just sort of throw on and go, something real casual, real simple. There are only a few shades in this palette. We have three cream shades and then we have this duo of topper glitter coats that are very different. I'm going to have to show you what those look like on. I will be using those today. So these are super creamy, smooth formulas. As um, as you saw in my previous video, I am a fan of the chrome paint pots that they're doing at, at Tarte right now. They've got and I'm a fan of that formula. It is a very creamy and smooth feeling formula, but this formula on this palette is more creamy and more smooth than that formula. So here is the chrome paint pot in um, Park Avenue Princess. So it has a chunky look to it and a glittery look to it. And then as you press into it, it sort of all melts together. It has a velvety feel as you're pressing into it. Not really a creamy feel, but it smooths out and melts into this extreme foil extravaganza as you're pushing your finger into the product. The cream style products in this palette are smoother, but you're still getting that foil look. So you're pressing into them and you're getting that extreme metallic foil look. That's the first color. That color is called Gold Coast. We then have the color called Sailor's Delight. And these are so comfy. They're so nice to glide on with your finger. The next color is called Sea Glass. Then you have these other two colors that are called Stargazer. There is a light one and a dark one. So this one turns out really gold, a gold shimmer top coat. And then this turns out very silver as a top coat. Here is the light color. It is very strange to dip into it. You can feel the glitter particles when you dip in with your finger. You can feel them when you rub them on your skin. Here it is right here. It doesn't really have a gel base like I thought it was going to. It's just sort of somehow loose glitter that is somehow packed into a sort of soft background. I don't know how it's holding together. Let's see what the other one, the other one feels like it has more of a gel in there. And that is the silver color, the silver side of it. So this is gonna be rather patchy. You're gonna have to dab this on. I've been playing with this over the last two days. Here's the silver side of it. But it is a little patchy. Uh, the glitter is a little patchy. You're gonna have to make sure to tap it in place. The patchiness will show more, of course, if you put it on a darker color like this deep burgundy one. So you can see the effect here is very similar to the chrome paint pot, which is the one that's right here. So as the title of the palette says, I'm going to use my fingers for as much of this as I can. I'm just gonna pat the color called Gold Coast over most of my lid. I do have primer on my lids. Just your good old um, Urban Decay primer. I'm gonna do this about up to there, I think. That is so pretty. This is what I think about this palette. I feel like if you don't have a lot of time, you can just, and you don't need a real complex look, you can just sort of finger paint this on and go. Um, I may not even line under my eyes today, I have to see. Look at how smoothly this goes on. It pats right on, no struggling. This is the prettiest shimmering champagne. Would you look at that? That is so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to put sea glass in the outer corner, sort of, and up here, kind of, going toward my brow, or going toward my um, bone there. Okay, and I'm gonna just pat that around with my finger. Sort of put my finger on edge to get kind of into the crease. Let's see how this does react to a brush because we do need to know that, correct? Is it gonna blend or is it just gonna stay in one place? 
it's sort of blending. I'm going to see if I can put a little of the sea glass color on a brush and sort of make almost a crease with it. I just want to kind of bring it down to meet the lid color there. Yeah, it's doing it. Now I need to just sort of blend that around. I may be able to do that better with my finger even. It's not just setting up as quick as I thought it was going to, which is good. It gives you time to move it around and sort of blend. The simplest, of course, the easiest way to, to, to do this is to just use one color over the entire lid. This is the more complicated of the simple looks here. It does brush on, su surprisingly enough, it does brush. I think I will dab just a little bit of the Sailor's Delight color between the lid color and the brown area there. Again, this is a lot more complicated than you really have to do with this palette. I think the best thing for this palette is one color over the eye and then one of these uh, glitter toppers on top. Okay, just added a little bit of color there. Now, the fun part, I'm going to tap this gold, the gold side of Stargazer, this part I am gonna use my finger with, over the lid and the rest, and the, actually the whole eye. Let's start just by tapping it in the outer corner here with the darker color underneath and the crease. Whoa, it's glittery. Sort of given a duochrome glitter there. It's sort of like a red glitter almost. Can you see the coppery red? No real highlighter or anything in this palette, so I'm not even going to put that on. I'm not even going to pull something out and put it on under here. Now, as far as the silvery color here, let's tap a little of that in the center of my lid. It's a very blue silver. It's a very gray silver. Just right there. So for a simple look, I'm getting pretty complicated, aren't I, with all the different colors. This one feels more wet than the wet than the white side or the lighter side. Okay, so here we are. I am noticing a little bit of creasing on this one eye over here. Can you see the creasing already? I mean, what is going on with that? I wore this yesterday. I wore this palette yesterday, and I didn't see any creasing. Now, I used a different primer yesterday, too. I used um, Milani's primer, which is just an inexpensive, cheap eye primer. Um, and today, I used Urban Decay. So, I don't know if that is causing it. It looks like it's kind of getting bald right through here, too. It looks like it's kind of... Um, creased away to where there's not any coverage right here in the middle as well. So real loss of coverage in the middle there too. So not thrilled about that. This is, um, I thought was going to be a nice little palette for tossing on and just going. And if you like a little glitter, but, um, if it's going to crease, it's not going to be good. Yes. We're getting major product loss in the middle there. I don't know what's up with that tart. That's a little disturbing. I picked up two of these Milani Stellar Lights holograph holographic lip glosses. These were actually at my local CVS. I kind of couldn't believe it. It was a full display. Wasn't expecting that. Picked up the color called Luminous Peach, and this one is called Kaleidoscopic Purple. So these are a nice smooth gloss. They're very holographic y duochrome. -y. Here's the Luminous Peach. So look at it in the tube, it is peach. On though, it is more just a clear with a bright pink, purplish, shifty glitter. These, oh my God, the smell of these. Oh, fruit punch or something. Oh, it's delicious. This one is kaleidoscopic purple. Look at this in the tube. I mean, I'm freaking out. It's green glitter in a purple base. Whoa. <laughs> I had these on my lips yesterday. I did like the purple one much better than the hot pink one, but it is a little tacky because it is dark purple gloss with a green luminous kaleidoscopic glitter in it, but they're fun and they smell wonderful and they're just fun, but just kind of fun. Anyway, the Tarte palette I was enjoying and I thought it was going to be a nice little finger paint exercise, but it is creasing like crazy. The Urban Decay Primer should hold it in place, but it is not. So 
maybe a thumbs down for me there. I did like the formula and I loved the foil effect that it was giving. I have not had any creasing with Chrome Paint Pot from Tarte, so different formula there. I ordered a bunch of makeup yesterday and today it's all coming in. Marc Jacobs has a new crayon, lip crayon. Since I love Marc Jacobs lip products, I had to grab it. Got one of those on the way. Also a couple of new glimmery, shimmery uh, Tarte lip glosses. I guess they're topper, lip toppers. They're on the way. They're called Lip Bling. Those are on the way. And two new palettes from Dose of Colors. They're on the way from Ultra, from Ulta, Ulta. They're on the way. They're really beautiful and I'm excited to try them out. Very on trend. One of them's all Sienna's and one of them is very berry. Never done a video on Dose of Colors eyeshadow, but they are fantastically pigmented and, and the texture is fantastic as well. So thanks once again for watching and I'll see you on my next video.